So what are we gonna do? What are we going to do? We are trapped up here in the bell tower because this hatch is all being hatchy ah, and locked. Shit! And our ladder fell down, which is bad news. So I guess we're just... I don't really see much else we can do. So I guess we're just gonna ring the bell. Ding dong. Come and get it, it's dinner time! They're coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! How? The ladder's down there, how, how am I supposed to get back there? I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. It's not that far. Just a little high. <laughs> <sighs> jump. We can do it. Oh, shit. Oh, we did it. Oh my god, that's awesome. Lee, you rock. Good goddamn leap, pal. No kidding. Let's get the hell off this roof. There's all the zombies, all the walkers. Lee is not in a good mood. Holy... What the fuck? Where's the boat? Come on! Just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck! How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions, uh contradict your characterization, but <laughs> yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We would have done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned car. Things have changed. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Wait, and Clementine? Where the hell's Clementine? Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Krista's right. The boat was a pipe dream. We still go after Clem, and then we get out of Savannah and rethink our entire plan. Rethink? How about we just think for once? That's what I'm saying we do. Calm down, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Maybe close the doors, maybe, folks? What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two, you know... Yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. That wasn't the last boat in America. The idea was sound before, and it's sound now. The mainland is done, and we have no idea what else is out there. I don't want to get us all killed on some impossible mission. It'll be better than getting eaten alone. Out there. At least Lee's thinking. 
You're goddamn right. We get another boat. But not here. Aren't we all missing the point right now? Clementine is the goal. That's it. Damn right. Oh, great. Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! How did they all get here so fast? They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Did you lock Maybe the freaking thing? We can secure this place. Krista! Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny! Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Omi! What is it? Front doors! Oh shit, 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 shit. Kick him, kick him, kick him! I didn't even have my hand on the mouse. <laughs> Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Uh, where are we looking? Ah! Ooh, cleaver! Yes! Take their goddamn arms off! Where is it? Where is it? Chop! Chop, chop, chop! Come on, chop! Now what? Uh. Shh! Everybody! We have to hide, and then find a way out. Lee's right. This place is secure. We're patient, and then we get going. <laughs> Oops. So much for that plan. Fuck! New plan! Get upstairs! Go! <laughs> that is awesome. Oh shit, shit! Point at her. The mouse is never near where you have to friggin' point at. Guys! Help me with this! Okay, okay, go. Uh, Q, Q, Q. Q. E. Q. E. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. Again? This will slow him down. We get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Can you get over, get over, get over, get over. Okay. We can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. And when we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. In the leg. It's a shooter. My turn. Oh, Jesus. I got no guns. I mean, I'm no bolts. Me too. Fuck. Where do we go? There's no goddamn opening. Up. Up, 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 up. Go. They're crawling over, folks. Oh shit! No gun for you. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kenny. Kid's it's right. Kenny. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Need? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. Oof. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, event, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... Pass out. Just... <laughs> like a light. Clem. Clem. I'm okay. I'm really parents. No. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel. 
where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it! We can't panic! How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. <laughs> we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! Yeah, there you go. Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! Shut up, sweetie. The secret room. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. With this wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Don't come near me with that thing. They're gonna be pissy with Kenny. Dude's making me angry. <laughs> I'm gonna bite you. <laughs> I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... He probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Just... Wham! The thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. Wish you would have taken it off? Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure. But if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. No. I'm serious. We have to She'd plan. Be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? 
Nah, hun, you can hop in after me. Let's chat now with Kenny. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. A bottle, yeah, we can get to tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to... Make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. After everything, he was still a bastard, you know, kid? Been hearing that my whole life, Doc. Well, cheers. <sighs> Sure, why not? I got nothing to lose at this point. <laughs> you don't have to drink it. Oh, <laughs> she's chugging it. Drinks, everybody. I'm through. Way to go, dude. No walkers. Things are looking up. Nicely done. Don't keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well. Oh, jeez. Yikes. That's a one way to end it. Take the gun though. Smart. Think all the people we've seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. We all could have done more. Myself included. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Where are we headed? Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. I just want to look at the dead people. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. Might be the way out. What do you call this thing? Art? Hmm, what else can we do in here? A lot of cutscenes in this uh, last little episode. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. <laughs> Clever. Just saying. Uh, we better not open the door. I thought we could inspect the door. The streets are full. Hundreds of them. I'm not 
going out this window. The window? Okay, Candy, what do you got for me? Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Don't ask me okay. how I'm doing. Shh. Let's just keep going. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Okay. Crawford would have killed them. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Okay, we got this door. A very small balcony. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. 